So let's continue this lesson. Now we are in part four, the reciprocal value in polar form. So if I have Z is equal R cis theta and I need to find one over Z, let's take an example and see what we will find. If Z is equal to plus three R, first, what is the um, modulo of this complex number? It's radical 13. It's radical four plus nine, radical 13. Now what is one over Z? It's one over two plus three I. So I need to multiply by the conjugate as we do usually. So, and then the answer will be 2 over 13 minus 3i over 13. Then if I want to find the modulo of this complex number, it's radical 4 plus 9 over radical 13 squared. On purpose, I left the 13 squared to be able to simplify. So, it's going to be radical 13 over radical 13 squared. So, it's 1 over radical 13. If you compare the modulos, the r, of those two complex numbers, so you can easily see that 1 over z, it's 1 over r1. Now let's see what's happening to the angle. If I look at Z, it was in quadrant one. Now it becomes in quadrant four. So at it is, it's, if I look at it, the X and Y, they, the, uh, y the, the sign of Y change. It was positive, becomes negative. So what is the uh, relation between the angle? So if this is theta, here the angle, either I can say it's two pi minus theta, or I can say it's minus theta. So it's very simple. So what will be the rule? If I want to find the reciprocal of a complex number Z, so the modulo will be 1 over R and the uh, angle will be cis minus that. Let's take an example and do this example. If you have Z is equal to cis pi over 3. So I need to find 1 over Z in a Cartesian form. So I have two methods. Either I can directly use the formula by writing 1 over Z is equal 1 over R, so it's 1 over 2 cis minus theta, so cis minus pi over 3. And then I will develop what is cis minus pi over 3. It's cosine minus pi over 3 plus I sine minus pi over 3. What is cosine minus pi over 3? Cosine minus alpha is exactly the same as cosine alpha, so it's like cosine pi over 3, so it's half. And sine minus pi over 3, it's minus sine pi over 3, so it's minus radical 3 over 2. And then if I develop, I will have 1 over 4 minus radical 3 over 4. This is the first method. The second method, what I can do, I can change it to the Cartesian form and then do it reciprocal. So let's see the second method. So I can write it, the original complex number, in Cartesian form. So it's 2 cosine pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3. Cosine pi over 3, it's half. This is radical 3 over 2. And I got, I got this complex number. Now, what is 1 over z? It's 1 over 1 plus i radical 3. Then you multiply by the conjugate and then you develop and you will you will have, sorry, because I just want to fix this one, the handwriting. So the denominator is a plus b times a minus b. So it's a squared minus b squared. So it's 1 minus 3i squared and i squared is minus 1. It becomes 1 plus 3, 4. And I will get exactly the same answer. Now let's do another example for that. Uh, sorry, let's move to uh, part five. How to divide uh, in polar form to complex number. <coughs> so if I have to do Z1 over Z2, so uh, if you put it over each other in Euler's form, so it's very simple. The uh, 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 modulus will divide, so R1 over R2. And what's going to happen to the exponent? You're going to subtract it, so the angles you're going to subtract. So let's do this example as an application for this case. If you have those two complex numbers in poor form, the question is to find Z1 over Z2 and Z2 star over minus Z1. So first Z1 over Z2, it's very simple. You're going to put it over each other. And then I will divide 6 over 2 gives me 3. I subtract the exponents. 3 pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 3. I'm going to do the same denominator. And I will have pi over 12. Now, to be able to do Z star over minus Z1, you need to find Z2 star first and minus Z1 first. What does it mean Z2 star? It is the conjugate of Z2. What's going to happen? How are we going to? What is the relation? There is a formula. There is a formula and we know it. But if I don't remember the formula, how I will be able to deduce the angle? Let's see. So if, if I will look at this angle here, uh, uh, at this, sorry, complex numbers. That is equal to cis 2 pi over 3. First, let's say 
if it was, if it's a complex number was here, if I have it in quadrant one, Z1, where gonna be Z star? Z star gonna be in quadrant four, because what, what's, how I will know that? Because if, if Z1 is in quadrant one, it means X and Y are positive. What's gonna be the conjugate? I just changed the sign of Y, so X gonna stay positive, Y gonna be negative. So it's here. So if the angle was theta here, the angle is going to be here minus theta. But I can say also it's 2 pi minus theta. The r will stay the same. The angle will be the opposite. Now, here in this case, Z2 is where? Z2 is in quadrant 2. Because the angle is 120 degrees. So it's I'm in quadrant 2. So we're going to be Z2 star. Z2 star will be here in quadrant 3. So also what is the relation? If this one was theta, what's gonna be, what's gonna be the angle of the two star? It's gonna be minus theta. Or also I can say two pi minus theta. Either I can memorize the formula or I can just look on the unit circle and locate it if I forgot the formula. So what's gonna be the two star? The modulo will stay the same, nothing gonna change, and the angle will be minus theta. Now, we move for Z1. Z1 is 6, uh, cis, 3 pi over 4. Be careful here. It's, I'm not, um, the Z1 here doesn't represent the same Z1 here. So, uh, so when I say, well, we're going to be a minus, minus Z1. Minus Z1, it's going to be opposite. So, as I said here, the Z here, let's put Z instead of Z1. So, I will not think that it's the same Z1. So, if, if I have Z here, the opposite is going to be opposite to it, here. So if the angle was theta, the, ang the new angle is going to be pi plus theta. If it was here, the minus is going to be here. The opposite is here because if X and Y was positive, they're going to be opposite now. Both are negative. If one is positive, the other is negative, it's going to be opposite to it. So it's like we say that they are supplementary, or the, they make 180 degrees. So. How are we going to find minus Z1? The modulo is still the same. Nothing will change. The angle is going to be pi plus the angle that I have here. And then I got the angle here. It's 7 pi over 4. The handwriting is horrible. Let me write it properly. Sorry. guys. It's better to write it properly so you can get it. So if you do the same denominator here, it's going to be 6 cis and 7 pi over 4. And now I can put it over each other and divide. So what will be, what was the question? Oh, Z2 star over Z1 minus Z1. So what's going to be Z2 star over minus Z1? So it will be 2 cis minus 2 pi over 3. Sorry, guys. Over 6 cis. 7 pi over 4, and now 2 over 6, it's 1 over 3, cis, and I need to subtract the angles. It should be the same denominator, so here I should multiply it by 4 here, by 3. So it's going to be, sorry, minus 8 pi minus, because I'm subtracting, minus 21 pi over 12. So it's minus 29 pi over 12. Should I keep it minus 29 pi over 12? No, I need to simplify it. So how we will simplify it? So how are we going to simplify minus 29 pi over 12? I need to decompose it. You need to think about what is the nearest number to minus 29 divided by 12 gives me an even number. It's even because it's going to be a whole term. So it's minus 24 pi minus 5 pi over 12. Minus 24 pi gives me minus 2 pi, so it's a whole term. So as I'm, 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 I'm here, I did the whole turn, I'm still here. And then I did the minus 5 pi over 12. So what is, as I said, the real angle that I did? It's minus 5 pi over 12. Because if I close my eyes, I will not see that I did a whole turn or two turns or three turns. And so in the end, we're going to write the final answer of Z2 star over minus Z1. So Z2 star over minus z1 it's equal one over three isn't it yeah one over three so it's one over three cis 
minus 5 pi over 20. Hope you got this part here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time in another video.